Welcome back to the Value Investors Club. I'm your host, Simon Wunderlich. Let's get right into it with VIC Readings, the format where we look at the best of the best value investment recommendations by the best of the best value investors out there. Today we have Yext Inc. Yext, um, Y-E-X-T, the ticker is. Price at the point of filing is $5.23. This is not recommendation, not advice. Please do your own diligence before investing into anything. And please write down in the comments if you invest into Yex or have invested or why not. Um, description. Yex is a beaten down software company undergoing positive change with a new CEO and new quasi-activist board member. Trading at just 1.3x revenue. Yex is a turnaround story emerging from several years of mis-execution on multiple fronts under prior CEO Howard Lerman. New CEO Mike Walrath uh, took over in March 2022 and has refocused on revenue, retention, and profitability. Walrath owns over 3 million shares of Yex and will receive an additional 2 million shares of performance-based restricted stock units, PSUs, if the share price exceeds $15. In addition, a new director from 9% holder Lead Edge Capital joined the board in October 2022. We see upside valuation of $7 to $11 per share based on aspirational EBITDA margins of 15 to 25% and a 12x multiple. Walroth is incentivized to drive a further upside to this valuation through growth, reacceleration, or a sale of the company. Company background. Yext provides a software that allows businesses to organize and publish the facts about their brands on their own websites as well as over 200 servers and application providers across a Yext knowledge network, including Amazon, Alexa, Apple Maps, Bing, Facebook, Google, Siri, and Yelp. Its products include listings, pages, reviews, and search. Its customers include Bank of America, McDonald's, Marriott, Comcast, and Albertsons. For example, Chipotle leverages uh, Yext to display up-to-date store location and operating hours across the internet. The main competitors are Uberall in listings and pages, Bazaar Voice in reviews, and Algolia and Elastic in search. Yext was founded in 2006 by former CEO Howard Lerman and went public in 2017. Today, the company generates over $400 million in annual revenue. Why this opportunity exists? Yext grew rapidly at 30 to 40% per year prior to the pandemic in 2020. Like many of, uh, of its SaaS peers, Yext spent heavily on sales and marketing to fund, it, fund its growth and posted steep operating losses. Investors tolerated Yext's losses because growth was valued at a premium. However, problems that were brewing before the pandemic began to unravel as COVID negatively impacted many of Yext's customers in retail, restaurants, and hospitality. The mistakes on a prior CEO, Lerman, included, number one, squeezing customers stressed by COVID. Instead of taking the long view, Yext played hardball with COVID-impacted customers during contract renewals, refusing to give breaks on terms some customers canceled and discussed, while others be, be, I'm sorry, begrudgingly renewed but vowed to eventually leave. Number two, neglecting customer service. Yext had a reputation for having great products but poor customer support. COVID exacerbated uh, this issue as financially stressed customers were no longer willing to tolerate paying a premium for poor service. Number three, over-rotating to new search product. Recognizing that Yext's core listings product was mature, Lerman invested in a search product to reaccelerate growth. However, Search had more established competitors and was sold to different buyers than listings, CIO versus CMO. Lerman overallocated resources to Search at the expense of core listings, which worsened poor performance for existing listening, uh, listing customers. And fourth, wastefully spending on sales and marketing. Yex had hired many highly paid sales executives from Salesforce, but they failed to deliver on their quarter. 
The company's Tony headquarters in New York City also carried hefty operating expense. Since 2020, revenue growth has decelerated to single digit as churn increased, and the company remained unprofitable. As a result, investors fled. This led to a wholesale change of the management team in March 2022, as the CEO, CFO, and CRO all resigned. New management team and focus. Mike Walrath uh, took over as CEO in March 2022 after serving as chairman of the board since 2009. Walrath has an impressive track record, having sold online advertising exchange marketplace Right Media to Yahoo in 2007 for $850 million and digital management company Mode to Oracle in 2017. Walrath is independently wealthy and does not need this job to pay the bills. As Yext's CEO, he receives no cash compensation, but is highly incentivized to increase shareholder value. He owns over 3 million shares of Yex and will receive an additional 2 million shares of performance-based restricted stock units, PSUs, if the share price exceeds $15. We think Walrath is primarily motivated by his embarrassment that the company underperformed under his watch as chairman. He aims to improve revenue retention and profitability. In meetings with investors, he has suggested a potential scenario of 10% growth and 25% operating margins. We think his interests are strongly aligned with shareholders and a sale of the company is his most likely endgame. Walrath understands that improving revenue retention and profitability are the key to creating shareholder value. Yext's uh, net revenue retention has decreased from 106% pre-COVID to 98% in the most recent quarter due to the factors cited above under prior CEO Lerman. Since stepping in as the CEO, Walrath has proactively taken calls with customers to close new deals and renewals. He has also put more emphasis on fixing customer service problems and brought it in a new CMO and CRO with a strong enterprise software experience. With respect to profitability, Walrath has focused on improving sales efficiency by right-sizing the sales force. Early feedback from former employees suggests that Walrath is the right CEO to replace Lerman. We are further encouraged that Evan Scorpion from 9% holder Lead Edge Capital joined the board in October 2022. Scorpion previously worked at Value Act and Hellman and Friedman. We think he will bring much needed experience in profit improvement and discipline to the company. Valuation Yext is currently growing low single digits on a constant currency basis while operating near break even on a profitability basis. If Walrath is able to uh, improve revenue retention, we think annual growth can stabilize at 5 to 10 percent. We think 15 to 20 percent EBITDA margins are possible in 12 months and 20 to 25 percent in 24 months. As such, we see upside of 7 to 9 dollars per share on 15 to 20 percent margin and 12x multiple in the near term, and 9 to 11 dollars on 20 to 25 percent margin and 12x multiple in one to two years. Walrath is incentivized to drive a further upside to this valuation through growth, reacceleration, or a sale of the company. An even bigger payday for him comes if the share price exceeds $15 and his incentives hit, which would probably require an additional significant product success or broad improvement in market multiples. Risks Failure to improve revenue retention. The current macro headwind may compel customers to seek cheaper alternatives and delay Yext's effort to show improvement in retention and profitability. Catalyst. Improvement in revenue retention and profitability. Sale of the company. Thank you very much for tuning in. Like I said, please write down in the comments below if you invested or will invest. See you next.